districts and schools created a divide among parents, students, and educators. The three largest school districts in the state require students and staff to mask up. But in some smaller rural districts, more and more are choosing to make masks optional. Our Julia Fellow met with McGuanago parents who use their power at the polls to make a change there. Ready? One, two, three. Father of three, Dale Porter, is excited for his daughter to start second grade without a mask. I'd look at the mask and I, they're really gross. They're filled with sweat, snot. Although the CDC and State Department of Public Instruction both recommend masks in schools, Dale says he found a group of parents on social media who shared his beliefs. It's a good, good group to be part of. It definitely, just like living out here, it skews more one way, like no masks. Politically, it skews, obviously, to the right out here. But there are people in there that have opposing views, and they put them out there which is good. And when a seat opened up on the McGuanago School Board, they threw their support behind fellow parent Vito Schwartz, who ran on a specific platform. The biggest thing was ditching the masks. You learn a lot in the Marine Corps. They tell you a lot about the past and how, how things got the way they were and the amount of people it took to make a change. All the support that I had was all people from, uh, from like Facebook groups. Last year, Governor Tony Evers mandated masks in schools under an emergency health order. The Wisconsin Supreme Court later overturned that order, leaving it now up to individual school districts to decide what to do. In McGuanago, the school board voted for masks to be optional in the last few weeks of the past school year. We voiced our opinion about unmasking the kids, and the board voted for it, and the kids cheered. Masks will remain optional this school year as well. The biggest thing is that people maintain their freedoms. District officials say students and staff will be required to stay home when they are sick. They will conduct contact tracing when a student tests positive, and they will provide free on-site COVID tests. They will also enforce a zero tolerance policy when it comes to bullying students who choose to wear a mask. So you support any child that whose parents and the child decide to wear masks during the school year? Absolutely, 100%. You want to wear a mask? If my kids say anything to anybody wearing a mask, they know they're going to be in big trouble. Whatever makes you feel safe, whatever whatever you feel is the right thing to do. The superintendent of McGuanago Schools says there is a virtual option this year for students. Out of more than 5,000 students in the district, he says less than 30 chose that virtual learning option. Julia Fellow, TMG4 News. Thanks, Julia. About 20 minutes before 7 o'clock, McGuanago among the school districts loosening pandemic policies also spoke with West Bend superintendent who says masks will be recommended but not required in that district this year. They have phases in place, though, if there is a community surge. And we do have intermittent masking in our plan. So it, we anticipate if if transmission or general illness occurs, uh, we work through phases of mitigation. So for our elementary, I can look at it by class. So it could be different that, you know, I have two classrooms in phase three and I've got one over here still in phase one. West Bend superintendent saying out of 6,500 students, only about 100 chose the virtual learning option this year to see a full list of school districts, mask enforcement policies and such. It's all up at TMJ4.com.